So AMD sent over the Sapphire RX 470 4 gig card. Now it's pretty awesome, but I want to make it clear that we're actually going to be benchmarking Doom with Vulkan in this, uh, ep uh, you know, this video, uh, which is actually going to make a pretty big difference. So do stick around for that. But otherwise, yeah, stick around for this awesome video. As usual, the back of the box has all of the new features, but uh, we've kind of covered most of these in other videos. So basically, inside the box, you'll get uh, the usual driver disc warranty guide. You actually get a DVI to HDMI adapter, which is nice, uh, or at least HDMI to DVI adapter, uh, as well as some other information. But the main thing I want to make clear is that this is a reference card. It's still a blower style design, but it looks freaking awesome with this sort of silver metal plate on the top, and obviously the silver sapphire logo. And this one also has a rather nice back plate to look at as well. It does make the card a little bit thicker, but the same time it just looks really cool so that's definitely an added bonus. Now this one is a single 6 pin power connector and since this is a 120 watt board power card uh, that's plenty of headroom uh, you know, that gives you an extra 30 watts if you do want to overclock it with AMD's Wattman tool and on the rear IO you have uh, obviously the 3 display port 1.3 slash 1.4 ports as well as the HDMI 2.0 port. Now this is pretty much identical in terms of size and configuration to the reference RX variety, obviously minus the style difference and obviously the chip on board uh, and obviously memory depending on you know so what size you get for the RX variety. But regardless, here is the specs. Obviously, it's 2048 stream processors with a 1206 boost clock. Although I actually saw mine reaching I think 1275 or uh, 1276, which is awesome and obviously boosting a bit higher and it does look really cool in a system. Now in terms of performance, this is obviously not a 4K gaming card it's really aimed at above 10 uh, so 1080p above 60 fps gaming and it definitely hits that in pretty much every title and bear in mind that that's on ultra settings. Obviously, stuff like Dirt Rally, you're seeing a little bit less in terms of FPS scores for uh, in comparison to the RX 480. But um, in GTA, you're still hitting over 100 FPS on very high settings, and you're still pretty much hitting 60 FPS on 1440p as well, average, which is awesome. And in Vulcan, this is just incredible. You're seeing over 100 FPS at 1080p on this uh, relatively budget gaming graphics card, which is awesome. And you're seeing above 60 FPS. 1440p as well, which is just incredible. Now, obviously, this does come at a bit of a uh, you know cost in terms of uh, heat. This uh, thing maxed out about 80 degrees, which is its target temperature, and it was a little bit loud too. So bear that in mind. So I've got to say, I am quite impressed with the card. The Vice Money is still very much up in the air at the moment because obviously this is a pre like pre launch review, so um, I don't necessarily know what the final prices are going to be. So I can't give it a full number, but um, the number that I've been given is fairly reasonable, especially for the performance you're getting and especially in DirectX 12 and Vulcan games. Um, if you want to check out the launcher that myself and friend Jim from Adore TV made for the RX well, for uh, DirectX 12 and Vulcan games, I'll leave a link to our GitHub repo uh, down below. And I'll leave a link to the full video that I made about this yesterday um, for that. But basically, um, it's a really impressive card. The, obviously, this one being the Sapphire one, it's the kind of reference version, so it is a little bit loud, it is a little bit hot. It does come with a 6-pin power connector as opposed to an 8-pin, so I may expect to see, uh, especially some of the aftermarket ones coming with an 8-pin, just to have a little bit more headroom. But obviously, this being a more lower-powered card uh, than the RX 480, I expect that there's already a decent bit of headroom in this 6-pin configuration anyway, so that's quite cool. Obviously you can use AMD's Wattman to improve uh, the performance a little bit uh, relatively easily, so that's nice as well. Um, and yeah, the outputs are decent. Obviously you're going to uh, get um, different outputs on the different uh, non-reference designs, and I believe that they are actually coming on the day of release, uh, including um, you know like the sort of Strix versions and stuff, and obviously like the Sapphire VaporX versions and stuff like that. So um, that's quite nice. It's quite cool that they're coming uh, available too, and. Uh, yeah, in terms of uh, kind of pros and cons, it's a really fast card. Obviously, it's a really nice budget. Um, this specific one, because that's the one I have, it's relatively loud and relatively hot. But um, yeah, in terms of scoring, uh, for the number I've been given, and I can't you know qualify any other numbers at this point, um, it's going to be a five for value for money. I'm actually going to go with a five performance, especially for the DirectX 12 and Vulcan titles. Um, I'm going to go for a, uh, I think a four for functionality just for this specific one because of the reference design and is a bit hot and a bit loud. Um, I'm going to go actually for a five for style because this looks awesome and a five for Tech Movie score. It's also going to get the Gold Award because it's an awesome card and if you are in the more budget category and you can't quite afford an RX 480 but you want some great 1080p and 1440p performance, this is a really awesome shout and I definitely recommend it. So I guess that's kind of it. If you want to check this out, I'll leave a link to Amazon 
who should hopefully have some uh, available at when you watch the video but uh, if not then you know just wait a little bit or feel free to check out people like Overclockers UK and uh, yeah if that if you're buying anything else that'd be awesome you could check that out too feel free to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and definitely do share it if you uh, you know found it useful and informative and uh, yeah I guess that's kind of that so thanks for watching feel free to check out some of our videos including the RX Variety reviews I've actually we've got another RX Variety that's sitting right next to the camera that I'm going to be benching very shortly and another card that's coming up on Monday that I think you'll be quite impressed with especially on the lower end too so uh, yeah I guess that's that thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video